Body been a bit quiet because I'm still on holidays actually, but today it's the day to be in Verona. Why? Well, you know, Kievo Juventus at 6 p.m. Italian time, which is 5 p.m. UK time, and uh, we are walking uh, on the way to the stadium. I've got a friend. Hi. Introduce yourself. I'm Gianluca Delino. I write for uh, La Stampa, the newspaper return, and uh, we are uh, we are going to watch the, the match. That's right. So uh, we've done the, the very Italian thing of uh, having pasta <laughs> uh, just before uh, and talking football for like three hours just before heading to the stadium. Uh, and you were telling me actually that uh, it's not normal that uh, the perimeter of security here has gone as far as, where are we, like a kilometer away from the stadium. And there's police, there's no cars, there's two terrorist units as well. So uh, the whole thing has been overboard. We're waiting Donald Trump. <laughs> it's Cristiano Ronaldo, so you know, we're talking about the same kind of importance, really. <laughs> it's, it's so strange. But this is the, the Ronaldo mania, and uh, this is Italy with the Ronaldo. Uh, we've been looking at the papers, of course, on Gazeta dello Sport, uh, Tutto Sport, La Stampa. They've got in the cover Ronaldo, but also in page 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's all about Cristiano Ronaldo. I've come here because I've got to update. Is that way? That way. Okay. Uh, I've got to update the biography of Ronaldo, which is going to come out in Italian uh, in a month's time. I've got three days. The deadline is in three days, so it has to be done, and it had to include, of course, his devil with Chievo today. Uh, Allegri already said that he is playing, no doubt about that. But what do you think will be the impact of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, both for Juventus and Serie A? As a, an alien, so this is the most important Extra player. Extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial, yes, it's correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the beginning of a new era for Juventus and also for the Serie A. So we are uh, very, it's very amazing. In fact, you were telling me that uh, for, for five years at least, Juventus has changed the, uh, the idea they have themselves as a club. They want to brand themselves yes. uh, to be able to bring more money to not just win the league, but also the Champions League. And they've gone a step further in that direction, a direction that uh, took uh, an amazing twist or turn or a push, really, a push when they uh, changed the logo and became a very recognisable J yeah. logo, which was uh, not traditional, but it was in the same direction. And now they actually have bought not just a player, but a brand. It's two brands now, Juventus and Cristiano, even though Cristiano brand feels a little bit bigger than the Juventus brand. Yeah, yeah. CR7, the Italian logo for Ronaldo, is the most important Juventus. And so, so we say that it's the new era and the Ronaldo with Juventus starting now with a, a dream for a dream of obsession of Juventus in the Champions League. So Ronaldo came to take the business, for the, take the business and go to Turin and the, the attention, the follower. And so Juventus hope also the Champions League. So it's not, uh, football's no maths. Uh, it's not like Cristiano Ronaldo plus Juventus guarantees the Champions League. They've already been in two finals in four years, but certainly guarantees what, uh, what they're trying to do to reach the next level. An extraterrestrial is perhaps the best description of the arrival of Cristiano. It is just uh, uh, that Serie A and Juventus as well saw the show business that was happening over there, far away, the Real Madrid, the Barcelona, the Manchester United. That was a different kind of football, uh, certainly not on the pitch, but off the pitch. And from there, this alien extraterrestrial personality has reached Serie A to make Serie A like the show business that we've seen in those other countries, Premier League especially, and La Liga. That's what we're seeing. And what we're seeing in front of us, we are arriving. It's a stadium because we arrived. Let's see some football, yeah?